Hi, welcome to 7 Facts, the channel where you'll get to discover little known facts about every single country on this planet. Today we continue with the British territories, but keep in mind that there's an entire playlist dedicated to this subject, so go check it out. In today's episode we'll talk about Guernsey, a crown dependency that's part of the Channel Islands. Before we get into it, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. In return, you'll get to explore the hundreds of videos that are already up, plus two brand new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Guernsey is one of the Channel Islands, just off the coast of Normandy. Just like Jersey, they are not part of the United Kingdom, but neither are they a sovereign country. Instead, they are a crown dependency, which basically means that the British monarch is their head of state while the UK is responsible for their defense and international relations. Guernsey and the other Channel Islands are the last remnants of the Duchy of Normandy, whose dukes went on to become the kings of England. In 1204, when King John lost the continental portion of the duchy to France, the islands did remain part of the Kingdom of England. Once upon a time, about 8,000 years ago, Guernsey wasn't an island. It was in fact the tip of a peninsula, attached to mainland Europe. Guernsey was then cut off from the rest of the continent due to the rising sea levels that eventually created the English Channel. The first evidence of human habitation came after the separation occurred. Those first Neolithic farmers from 5000 BC have left traces on the island that still endure to this day in the form of ancient tombs called dolmens and menhirs, which can be found all over Guernsey. Although a crown dependency, Guernsey is a self-governing country. And just like Jersey, it too has its own capital city called St. Peter Port. The city is an ancient one, having been founded before the Roman conquest of the area. It's a charming little city with many narrow streets and steps on the overlooking slopes. An interesting fact to mention about St. Peter Port is that it used to be the home of Margaret Ann Neve. She was the first verified person that managed to live into three centuries. She was born in 1792 and passed away at the age of 110 in 1903. She was also the only woman born before the 19th century and get into the 20th century. Guernsey is a place of many myths and legends. Most of them involve pooks or fairies. Legend has it that there were two different types of fairies those who invaded the island and the indigenous species known as Pooks who inhabited Guernsey. It is said that Guernsey men are shorter than average because of their fairy blood running through their veins, which also has made them polite, industrious and helpful. Local witches benefited too as they no longer needed broomsticks to fly due to their inherited invisible wings. Speaking of witches, the island also has a lot of stories about them too. In fact, to this day it is customary to have a witch's seat jutting out from the house gables, so that if a witch passes by, they will rather sit down and catch their breath, than curse and cast spells upon the owners of the house. Guernsey also boasts one of the biggest tides in the world. When it recedes, the immense body of water surrounding the island seems to disappear into the horizon, only to surge back to shore with alarming speeds. The tides can measure up to 11 meters and can rise by 7 centimeters per minute. So if you want to take advantage of the low tide and explore the seabed without actually having to dive, you can. Just be careful not to stay out for too long as the tidal waves come twice a day. Guernsey is not just one island. There are four main islands, Alderney, Sark, Herm and Guernsey. 
but there are also dozens of small islets, many of which do have some buildings on, like watchtowers, mansions or farmhouses. Due to the extreme tidal events, navigating between the islands is not an easy task. If we add up all the islands, we get an area of about 65 square kilometers, which make up the home of some 63,000 people. But they've done alright for themselves. As of 2018, by GDP per capita, Guernsey is the 12th richest nation on the planet, on equal footing with the oil-rich Saudi Arabia. Just like Jersey, Guernsey also has its own Norman-based language, Guernsey or Guernsey Norman. This language has been somewhat influenced by standard French, but with a much stronger Old Norse and English nuances. Today, only 2% of the population still speak the language fluently, although a much larger proportion do have some understanding of it. There are efforts being made to revive the language of Guernsey, but this is no easy task, since English has long become the lingua franca of the island. Amazingly, even the smaller islands of Alderney and Sark also had their own dialects, but sadly, the Alderney's Orenye has become extinct, while the Sarkie or Sarkis is suffering greatly due to official neglect. So these were 7 facts about Guernsey. I hope you enjoyed the video and will leave a like and subscribe. Share your thoughts and comments downstairs and do check me out on Facebook or Twitter. You can offer your support even more by visiting my Patreon page and becoming a patron. I hope to see you next time. Bye.